been a long time since I've had a run where all of my strength scaling ultimately came from flex, but Pyramid can make it happen. It's part of our streak here, surely, at some point. Ooh. Hmm. Spooky. Very spooky. There's also this. Hmm. Yeah, first Relic Helix twice in three games is pretty insane. Early shop into Burning Elite? Maybe? I don't know how survivable that is, quite frankly. But maybe. Um, that's certainly where you want to see the shop with 250 gold uh, for Curse. Other option, upgrade a card, max health plus 7, or boss swap. This is not the time to boss swap with a forced early elite. Adrog with a prime sub and the full year of support. Thank you, thank you. Hmm. Yeah, swap could go really bad. If we get uh, a weak calling bell or an empty cage or... Mark of Pain, quite frankly, would be pretty bad. Black Star would be pretty bad. Upgrade Bash into the first Elite does feel a bit better overall. So I could see Upgrade Bash and doing three or four combats into an Elite. And then just trying to recover from there. Is it safe to remove Followers Only mode? Yes, uh, Feili. Um, every time the Followers Only mode goes on currently, it's to stop a bot attack. It's the quickest, quickest and easiest way to shut down um, a spam flood that's occurring in the chat. So... If, if that occurs while you're here, just type slash followers on or slash followers to quickly re-enable it. I think that was two days ago or something. Yield mode. Yield mode. Oh, yeah, it does have that button. I've never seen that button. Have to look into that. Can you get black blood from boss swap? No. It looks as Twitch is in shield mode. I customized it to do what we need if we get bot spammed. Sweet. I will use that next time. There have been a couple of bot attacks as of late. Yeah, at least two lately. We might see them again. But they're easy enough to shut down. Chat says, Howdy, I've been struggling with defect hard lately, trying to build frost and direct attack builds, but they all come up short, sadly. Those can work pretty well. Uh, I would also encourage, if you don't find the, the Frost and Direct Attack, you can invert it and go Lightning plus Direct Block. I find works pretty well. Auto Shields, Leap Equilibrium paired with um, Electrodynamics, Tempest, Ball Lightning, Sweeping Beam kind of stuff can do wonders. And don't forget to get some focus to make the Lightning Orbs do big blaps. Storm can work really well with that too. Why don't the bots just follow me? I'm... I don't know. They can't? They they don't. Thankfully, they don't. Not yet, they don't. Why don't the bots just subscribe to me? That's my question. Was I a really strong Slay the Streamer player? I would say Stream won the overwhelming majority of the time, but we did have some uh, some Baylor wins that were absolutely ridiculous in Slay the Streamer. Philly Chicken says they don't follow because that's what they're selling, is you have to pay them to get the bots to follow you. That's true, Spacey. There are a number of limited lifetime subs I can give out as a uh, Twitch partner. We have gotten an A20 Slay the Streamer win. I'm sure of that. Okay, let's let's make a choice here. I think we can rule out boss swap and we can rule out max health plus seven. This is either upgrade a card and then we'll mark green here. I'd like the option to go one or the other way here. Um, or we'll take the 250 gold and we go this way. And then fight the burning elites. 
Let's look at the path on the other side. With green, we could do... Second Elite in short order, get a lot of upgrades. We get a lot of rest sites this way. One, two, three, four. Plus two Elites is pretty good. Or we could go up the middle, which is one, two, three, four, two Elites. Wait, that's the same, but better, right? This is just the same nodes, but in a different, better order. Yeah, that's better. That way the second Elite is easier to kill. Because they're behind the chest in the fire. So as long as you get through that first Elite, this is really not so bad. Still only two Elites, though. Doesn't get the Burning Elite. If we kill the Burning Elite, we could potentially go three Elites. Or there's an option... Let's make that in yellow. Option to go for a Fire after the Elite, and then go two Elites still. So that would be... Two Elites, three Fires, plus the Shop. I think I want the Curse 250 Gold here. Now, that initial Burning Elite will be a challenge, but with the huge amount of starting money, we should be able to do it. We can also go three Elites without the Fire Elite. Yeah, if we do this one... Yes, yeah, so we could opt into the shop then. Take the money and arrive. And arrive at our destination of the Jawworm fight. Get chomped on. Uh-oh, only drew one strike here. That's going to hurt. That's not good. Already the curse stings. Ouch, man. Oh, garbage. Um, I'm going to bash strike because this is really, really bad. Okay, we're out of here. Let's take the extra five and leave the fight. Jesus, terrible. Terrible. But we do get offered a blood for blood, which is not that good without an upgrade. But it's pretty powerful. Twin Strike is more direct, more reliable. Yeah, not that good in hallways. Not that good at all until we upgrade it. And here's the problem. Again, Burning Elite. We might not upgrade it ever, really. So I think I'm going to take the Twin Strike over the Blood for Blood. Oh, did that pay off. All right. We get a membership card. Meaning we now have over 400 effective gold. We get an on-sale battle trance for 20 gold. Oh, there was combust. Dang it. I should have taken the Blood for Blood. That's all right. Burn everything. Thanks for the prime sub. Welcome to the Cozy Sub Club. Is it ever combust here? Yeah, it is combust here. I would say it's only combust if you're fighting slime boss. Which we are. So, yeah, we're taking the combust. I'm probably also going to take the Aura Calcum. As I think this is a very good early game relic. Regen potion's pretty good too. Can I do remove, battle trance, combust, Aura Calcum, regen potion? I don't think so. I'll have to skip one of these things. It's not going to be the Remove or the Battle Trance. Probably has to be Aura Calcum Combust then. Thoughts on Dramatic Entrance? It's perfectly fine. A bit expensive for what it offers. I don't like it all that much on Clad. How's it going, Sharks? Our Ace... Watching my VODs has been really helpful while you've had a bad time of it. Glad to hear. Dramatic exit. There you go. We... Oh, we still get two chances at a potion. I'll just take the combust. All right, that's a good shop. We got lots of stuff going on. We had added two very good cards for the upcoming. And we got two very good relics. Uh, membership card is long-term money scaling, or a calcum is immediate free block. Both of those are very good. Or a calcum, my savior. Although I can't kill either of them, right? That's kind of lame. 
But yeah, immediate six health savings from the Auric Alchem. Baylor Bot, you're drunk. Major Foley, thanks for the four months. Never get how good I am with corruption. You always seem to run out of resources. It, it does take some experience to know when you have enough um, fuel, is usually what I call it, for uh, corruption. Like, how many cards do you need to have before you're allowed to stop taking them? How many skills do you really need to block through the heart? It'd be tough to evaluate, for sure. Okay, no health change from that fight, at least. I'd like to heal six in the next fight. Hopefully it's Cultist. Almost Strike looks good. Um, Iron Wave is a lot worse with Orichalcum. Whirlwind is a bit worse with the Combust. And the lack of any ability to upgrade the Whirlwind. Let's take a Pummel. Dead Branch is the best fuel, it's true. Wow, I wish I could take your Deal Serpent. With the membership card, surely 150 gold is worth a curse, but we have no chance to remove that curse before some very deadly fights, so absolutely not. I disagree, Mr. Serpent. Or Mrs. Serpent, kind of unclear. Or anything else the Serpent might be called. Serpent. Oh, it's right in the name. You're right. All right. Cultus is very easy health thanks to Orichalcum here. Dealing six damage. Block six for free. I'll take the plus six. Thank you. Freaking Jawworm. Okay. We also get a potion. It's not a great potion, but it will do just fine. And we can take another Pommel Strike or a Combust. Or actually a very good Perfected Strike. Actually, wait a minute. That Perfected Strike is awesome. Because I have seven Strike cards already. Right, we added P-Strike, we've added Twin Strike. So this does uh, 6 plus 8 by 2. 22 base damage. So 22 damage. Modus Pones, thanks for the Tier 2 sub in the 4 months. And I don't mind taking a dead weight attack because we have Battle Trance Pommel Strike. It's a good Slime Blapper. Uh, and more importantly, it's a good Lagavulin and Grumlin Knob Blapper. I'll take it. Because we have a Burning Elite to deal with. And that Burning Elite is a regenerating Lagavulin. Could be worse, quite frankly. True Rog, thanks for the 47 months of support. Yeah, this is where Blood for Blood would have been really good. That's okay. We're going to play that. But then I want to wake up with either the Peace Strike or the Bash. The must is end of turn. That's correct. Okay, we get to choose. I think it's just going to be Peace Strike here. If I have no expectation of Bash landing on Peace Strike. Wake up. And realistically, we're going to take 14 damage per turn the Leg of Valen attacks us here. Ah, uh, relying on the Orichalcum, because we have to put all of our energy into attacking to get through this thing before it debuffs us heavily. So every turn is just going to be deal damage. As much as possible. Actually, 15 per turn. Ah, there we go. And we drew Peace Strike with the Vuln, so we can kill right now after taking only two hits. Honestly, again, that was a floor six burning elite. Not only are we alive, we're not even close to dead. I'm very happy with that. I didn't even use the potion. Banjaro. Thanks for the prime sub. Uh, and the three months of support. Cyphus with six months, the half year. Ooh, woo to you too. Peace Strike performed for sure. Peace Strike did good work. Major Foley says, did people find specific relic interactions just by pure experimentation? I'd say mostly, yeah. I think some, some can be learned by just kind of looking at the game code. You can decompile the game, which runs in Java. And uh, 
look at the interactions more directly. The modder's way. But just trying and seeing what happens is, I think, what a lot of people have done. We want a Reaper. I guess there's also Hemokinesis or Power Through. I'm pretty cool with a Reaper, though. I think we're good to go for another Elite if we want to. Not upgrade anything and just... Uh... Let's do it. I like Reaper with Orichalcum. We don't have strength yet, but we're gonna want some. Um, I would eat this is this is what makes me take a rupture, by the way. Having a combust and a reaper already, I will now take rupture. If I see one. Not that I want a rupture, it's just that I will take any source of strength. Probably including flex. Hello, friends. I think it's better to deal 16 than to play the Reaper here. Seems like a trap. I can't quite kill. But we can kill next turn. Three health for the blue slaver. That's not too bad. How about just another combust? I did say flex, didn't I? I did say flex, didn't I? All right. Get in here, flex. Here's flex. With the flex, I really like the swift pots. Weak pot's good against the Lega or Knob. Dex pot doesn't seem that good as we're mostly relying on the Orichalcum. It is Grumlinob. Flex does six damage on turn one. That's not bad. I could Swift Pot if I wanted to, but I actually don't really have a good reason to, as this is already a pretty good turn one. Or Calcum helps in this fight, too. As with every fight. We just do probably Peace Strike Combust. It's better than Peace Strike Strike. But are we killing next turn? Seems extremely unlikely, right? So I should Weak Pot. Yeah, we're never killing next turn. If we're lucky, we can play Bash Reaper or something. Have I played Spirit Island? I think I've played the, the board game version. Maybe once. It's like a, a tile-based game where you're cooperatively playing with other players on an island. You have to explore it, but the tiles are sinking underwater. Is that Spirit Island? I might be thinking of a different board game, actually. That's Forbidden Island. Okay, well, you can see my confusion. <laughs> okay, I have no idea what Spirit Island is, then. Too many islands, dang it. Reverse slit, reverse Catan. Your angry spirits of an island that are killing off colonizers, pandemic style. Okay, that's pretty cool, actually. So the map starts in fully colonized, and you're trying to get back to the wilds or whatever. I like that. Seems to me Combust is going to go off three times, so I'm going to play the Combust here. That way I can probably play Reaper. I'm not killing this turn, right? If I play Reaper, you're at 16, you're at 11. So I have to draw one other attack. That seems easy. Play Reaper here. Take 12. That's not so bad. Cool. We're still in the 30s here. We get a bank of preparation. Two more cards on turn one. Love that. This flex is going to do good work. Juggernaut is back. Juggernaut, what are you doing here? I could get behind armaments in a deck with so much card draw currently. The bag of prep, the battle trance. 
Prehistoric Ham, thanks for the six months of support. Thank you, thank you. And Ripnader with the Double Baker's Dozen, thanks for 26 months. Let's take an Arma. How many cards are we at now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, but don't count this or this. So five? We can maybe add one more card if it's a good one. But we should probably stop. Bronze Scales, a damaging relic. I do like Bronze Scales. I really like this relic bar in Act 1. All of these are useful relics that are helping. Um, so having this many of them is just going to cumulatively be a lot of bonuses. Would Hemo justify a rupture? We've already got enough justification for rupture. Do you ever take two perfected strikes? Sometimes. Don't think I want to in... Ooh, uh, I don't think I want to in this run, but it could happen. Hmm. We could buy the question card. It's a nice cheap fruit juice. Fifty-eight gold fruit juice is actually kind of tempting. Question card is best in Act One before you get your first boss reward, as it means we're going to look at uh, an extra rare card in each boss reward. But it does cost all of my money, basically. Still, it's early enough. That's kind of a big deal. How do Metallicize and Orichalcum interact the good way? You'll get nine block at the end of the turn. Pretty sweet. True Grit Abacus together is a fun little combo. We could even do True Grit Abacus Remove, which is juicy. Is Abacus worth speculating on ever? Oh, yeah. Especially with one Pommel Strike already and a True Grit, that's already most of a plan for winning a late game combats. I, think I might like the question card a bit more. I'm gonna go question card today. What about True Grit? Do I still buy the True Grit? Yes, I do. All right, good talk. Good talk. Take three, huh? That's fine. Take three, heal six. It's not the kind of heal six I meant, but I like it. Take three, heal six twice, I guess. Means we're up six health this fight. Cool. Okay, we're taking one of these two. I think it should be second wind first. Stoic Hulkan, why was the ironclad farmer unsuccessful? Because he could feel no grain. Yeah, I like the second win quite a bit. This lets us exhaust all non-attack cards in our hand, getting five block for each card. A mass purging of things, and already we're starting to build up a good foundation of exhaust synergy, which can be very strong. Upgrade this peace strike. Huh? Are you lying to me? You're, you must be lying to me. Yeah, you're lying to me. Okay. Three Ghost Crabs. Thanks for the tier one sub. Oh, that's right. It, it doesn't count itself while it's resolving here because it's not... It's not actually in the draw pile, the hand, or the discard pile, and therefore it's not being considered. That's really funny. <laughs> That is silly. I think I'm going to wait before I actually start this fight, though. I could just ditch the Reaper. Let's ditch the Reaper. Hm. 
probably attack potion next turn. Although we might want to attack potion for slime boss. Try to keep her for slime boss. A chonk. Holy crap. Although it would say 14 health right now. Alternately, this is a pretty good time to swift potion. Pretty likely to get another potion before slime boss. Twin strike would kill. Non-attack cards would block with second win, so we could block for quite a lot. Let's let's use the swift pot here. There's twin strike. Of course, Smiling Mask. Okay, yeah. Currently, our removal is 50 gold anyway. This just makes all of them 50 gold. With Membership Card, a lot of the savings are lost here because our removals would have been cheap anyway, but now they're really, really cheap. I'm going to grab a Pummel. I want to have Exhaust Synergies in this deck, and I want to have Strength Synergies in this deck. So no matter what we find, Pummel will be good. We're going to upgrade armaments. Make it upgrade everything else. Maxicho, thanks for the prime sub. Welcome to the Cozy Sub Club. Reaper. Yes, Reaper. Get them. Who is this Reaper second wind? It must be. No flex, but that's okay. I healed 20. So I could arm a Reaper, heal 25, and then we take 13. Or I could heal 20, take 0. That's better. Combust might have been nice, right? Because this turn's kind of bad. But that would have been t meant taking more damage last turn. This turn is quite bad, actually. They all have 5 health. Combust would have been quite nice. We kill one of them, take... Yeah, we take 14, huh? It's kind of bad. Is this our attack potion? No way. We're saving that for Slime Boss. Absolutely not. Still have more health than we did when, than we did when we entered the fight, so don't feel bad about all that damage. Thirty nine is plenty of health. Second flex. We've had first flex, yes, but what about second flex? Actually, you might have been right, Trogaz. Armaments into Reaper might have been the play, because then the Slimes would have had four health, not five. And that actually would have made quite a difference. It's an interesting thought. I'm going to upgrade our Battle Trance. Couldn't have known they all attack turn two. Well, <laughs> about that. about that. Yeah, we, we knew that was coming. Hmm. Hopefully we draw a peace strike. This is where the attack bot's gonna come in. Next turn here. Please draw a peace strike. Thank you. Yeah, that does 33. Bring it to 60. Need a little bit more oomph here. Vecto. That'll do. Good lord. Why you guys are so rude, though? Uh, you first. Split them both here. Uh, this just wins, though, right? 
Because we combust, and then we combust, and they're, they're both dead. Bonus points if I get Reaper right now. Oh, easy game. Thanks for the hit points, nerd. Z Question card of the gods? Option one, option two, option three, and then the bonus card is this one, offering. Limit Break with two flexes is kind of fun. I wouldn't really want Limit Break here unless I knew I was about to get Runic Pyramid. Did you know that I play games other than Slay the Spire? It's true. Catch me over on Baylor Lord Plays for card games, RPGs, strategy games, and more. In which case, I might take Corruption anyway. This actually does not feel like a deck that wants a Corruption at the moment. We want some of these skills to be reusable. But I really like Offering. Offering means more card draw, which means we're more likely to upgrade things with armaments. We're more likely to get the flexes alongside powerful cards. And the fact that it drains health can be accounted for by the Reaper. So I think Offering is very good here. And we do get Runic Pyramid, which I will click on. I'm very happy with that. Runic Pyramid is one of my favorite relics in the game. I think it's much, much stronger if you have Bag of Preparation so that you start with seven cards. It's also way, way stronger with an Armaments Plus that can upgrade everything else in hand. It makes these flexes insane. This is going to be a really cool deck from here. So, easy runs continue. We're at three pyramids, two early helixes. What is my life? Still wants a rupture? Not really. I think combust is rapidly going to become second wind fuel. There's a reason I didn't upgrade the combust. I don't think we're going to play it much from here on out. Although it will help us against bird nerds. We do have Brawn Scales for Bird Nerds. Go to this shop. A little early, but whatever. Smiling Mask says do it. Could go up the far left side. I don't like that much. I think we go to this shop, and then we can decide. Fight this elite. Don't fight this elite. Go to this shop. Don't go to that shop. We can decide. Filthy thieves. Be gone from this place. Hmm. It's gonna be trance. Okay, so my damage output could be, at best, 14 plus 11 plus 24. How much is that? That sounds suspiciously like it kills the front one, but not the back one. Correct, that's 49 damage. So I guess we kill the front guy, then. Uh, we could even use Combust instead of playing one of the Strikes. Would Flex be a good upgrade with all this draw? Yes. Although the armaments can get the Flexes sometimes. I think I'd rather have the, the Flexes upgraded outright. Do Flex Reaper's second wins. That sounds good. Hand it over. Not a bad fight. Would a flex be a good upgrade, they ask? What if I just took a third one? There's also in flame here. But it doesn't say plus on it. to flex all over the spire.
Got pummel. I love this. Pummel is going to put in so much work. Probably. Oh, yeah. Ten damage four times. Boom. This will heal me for ten, so it actually heals more than I'm about to take in damage back. It's therefore better. Ultimate flexioning. Intimidate plus is quite good. Anything zero cost is relatively good with Pyramid. Two turns of weaken is quite nice. Does one artifact negate multiple strength down from flex? Only if you gain the artifact after stacking the uh, the strength down. Now we take limit break. There's also Prismatic Shard here, which I can't afford, but I'm thinking about more removes. Shard might offer us some very weird cards. Does sound kind of fun. And with question card, I think it's actually not that bad. Andrew says, any tips on how to win with defect? One with every other character, but can't figure out the defects. Defect's a bit odd. Defect's are usually looking to set up in fights by playing powers, scaling their orbs, get more orb slots, get more focus. Um, orb slots and focus kind of multiply each other, such that you end up with a very powerful output at the end. But you have to pair this with good blocks to survive and good attacks to kill enemies quickly. And it's a really delicate balance between the three for the defect. Some quick tips that can help is uh, pick the first area damage card that you see and upgrade it to help with the multi-enemy fights. Try to upgrade one or two of your block cards. Something like a charge battery or an equilibrium or a leap goes a long way. Um, and then try to have one goal in mind for your orb slots. I think your orb slots are best spent either blocking or dealing damage, but not trying to do both at the same time. Because usually you'll fail to do both at the same time. Alright, I'll take the shard, Twitch chat. I will be bullied into doing this in this case, and we'll see how it goes. Don't think I'm going to take a relic for a writhe. No, I don't think I'm going to do that. Aww. I was getting weakened, actually. Flex. Flex. Hummel deals 36 damage. Good times. We're at full health here. Being offered Mantra. I think I prefer a go for the eyes here. Maybe an acrobatics? Acrobatics is interesting. Yeah, we got one card from every color. That's pretty cool here.
How's it going, Gagarix? Having a problem with Clad in Act 3. Clad can really lose steam in Act 3 because you, you may have accumulated too many damage cards. Um, I find Act 3 Clad is best performed with as few attack cards as possible. So you want to limit the number of attack cards you take early and then kind of progressively remove them as you go. Usually my Act 3 Ironclad decks are built around the exhaust keyword. You're looking to exhaust cards from your deck so that you can redraw certain useful cards more frequently. Um, as well as to piggyback off of effects that trigger when you exhaust, like the Feel No Pain power. Let's go for Go for the Eyes here. And I'm feeling confident about this elite, so let's do it. Book of Stabbing shouldn't be too bad. I'm just gonna play this now. This is definitely a tough damage race for us. Okay. Oh, good. We get all of the flexes, so I can do flex, 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 limit break. Pummel is 18 by 4. Seems good. Very good. And then just bash Twin Strike. Oh, yeah. Beautiful fight. I think it can be difficult to understand why exhaust is beneficial on clad initially, but the sort of core idea is that you, if by exhausting cards from your deck, uh, the remaining cards get drawn more frequently, and that allows you to exhaust anything that's not upgraded or anything that's not useful in the current fight, uh, and that can be really, really strong. There's Crescendo, but uh, screw Crescendo because we have Panacea, which is even better. Get in here, Panacea. I think I upgrade the Panacea now. Ooh, miss! Thanks for the Prime sub. Actually, no, I'm gonna upgrade the Flex first. You use Panacea after playing all the Flexes on your turn. That is the correct timing for Panacea. We flex flex and now if we panacea at the end of the turn the strength down will lower our strength and the panacea prevents that um and i guess i play bash and have more healing next turn we can keep to keep all six of that strength Pretty good. Dark Shackles is absolutely mental with Runic Pyramid. Lower enemy strength by nine for one turn. Claw is here. Is Panacea a good card? Panacea has some specific uses. It's a highly situational card. Um, like all situational cards, it's really strong if the situation calls for it, but it's useless otherwise. Riddick Pyramid is really the big enabler here for situational cards of all kinds. In this case, we get to use it to prevent Sneko from confusing us with Runic Pyramid, which seems pretty good, actually. Um, normally, this is a big matchup problem, Sneko versus Pyramid. Today, we're not afraid. And yeah, we get to Arma first, so we even keep one artifact to use on the Flex.
Get toasted, nerd. Uh, Reaper would heal a lot more than five. We could just kill him right now. Or we can triple defend, take six. Try to heal some. Nah, I'm just going to kill it. Get me out of here. Now we take Crescendo. Will the snake cast Confusion a second time? No, it only does it only does that once at the start of the fight. So Crescendo says, enter Wrath, which means we deal double attack damage and take double attack damage. But you only take damage if there are enemies who are alive. And usually with Crescendo, there are not enemies who are alive. So it's not so much of a problem. How do I avoid the temptation of bloating my deck size with the Prismatic Shard? We have to pick a gimmick. We can't have everything. That's kind of the, the rule we have to follow. Pick a lane and stay in it, so to speak. Almost kill. I could explosive pot drink, but I don't think I need to. Once more, Orichalcum saves health. Good work, Orichalcum. Lex Reaper is a bajillion damage. I love it. Even kills the red guy. And I think I'm going to second wind. Lose the crescendo for this fight. We're already in pretty good shape here. But all my cool cards are not here. Mamori will negate the next two curses we get. That's pretty good timing. All for one. Returns the flexes. That's interesting. I like it. I'll give that a shot. Seems pretty cool, actually. You first get. Neat. Do all for one flex limit break. That's reasonable. Oh, wait, that's the second one, be. Don't play those. Flex, Flex, Panacea. Pretty two doesn't quite kill it. I could with the Explosive Potion. Took some of my health back, though. Perfect. 
Dagger spray is not bad. We don't have any AoE at the moment, which is a little concerning. I feel like we need it, though, based on how slavers went. I think we'll skip here. We have combust. That's true, actually. We have combust. Do have combust. Get rid of Bash, unfortunately. Well, 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 Mr. Book of Stabbing, you are screwed. I'm angry. I'm strong. And you deal zero damage. Excellent. Take 34 damage twice. To the face. It's 24 by 4. To the face. Pretty strong. Doesn't even have a face. But it does have a spine. I just broke that spine. Boot sequence. That's a nice initial block card with a bag of prep. Exhausts. Welcome. Consume to get rid of that pesky orb slot. Should probably think about keeping a speed potion with this panacea. Could be good block. Eh, Reaper's good block. We have Reaper. I get to choose one of 20 cards to add to the deck. This will not be um, Prismatic Shard cards. This will be all Ironclad cards. We can take either Feel No Pain or Dark Embrace. Or Spot Weakness. I think it's going to be Dark Embrace. Pro tip chat. It's going to be Dark Embrace. Feel No Pain is nice block. Dark Embrace is nice card draw. Card draw is where it's at when you've got 34 cards in the deck. Although I do think it needs an upgrade, probably. Although so does Panacea. Many things need an upgrade. That's what Armaments is for. So, this boss does stuff like stealing our rare cards, which can be rather annoying. going to take either Limit Rank or Offering. In either case, I want the card back. Limit Break. Okay. And there's Offering. Sweet. So what I'm going to do is Double Flex. Offering. Triple Flex. Kill this nerd. Play Limit Break. Go to 20 strength. Humble you. Throw more cards. Okay, we can all for one the flexes. We can all for one the flexes if we want to. With the Dark Embrace, we definitely now have a problem that is uh, Hand Clog. Not the worst thing, though. Actually, can I all for one the Flexes? Not if I don't have Hand Space. Interesting problem. I guess not.
but that works too. Cool. Pretty sure I just go for the kill now. Yeah, you're super dead. Although 116 coming from the boss looks kind of scary, right? Bot, thanks for the prime sub. Welcome to the Cozy Sub Club. <laughs> well, those are some rare cards. Hyper Beam, Meteor Strike. Meteor Strike is particularly juicy here. <laughs> Although Hyper Beam's massive AoE is also quite nice. How do we play it? By playing Offering. We do have five energy. And it will refund four energy immediately if we can play it, because two of the plasma orbs will evoke, because we only have one orb slot, which we do have one orb slot, by the way. So I'm taking that. And I'm taking this. Coffee Dripper gives us energy every turn. We can no longer rest at rest sites. He is perfect here with our Reaper. Gives us more energy to play all these cards, especially with the Dark Embrace. And it's going to allow us to do a lot of stuff. Ice Cream Waiting Room. No kidding. Already took out our Burning Elite because we're geniuses. Let's hit a shop up then. Genii? Or do I want to hunt for Mind Bloom? Not really, right? Uh, well, actually, the payoff would be huge. And I can still do three elites. Okay, let's see if we could do that. If we get 999 gold from any of these three events, we could do some very broken things. Whatever. Just deal four, it's fine. That's how we play Meteor Strike. This also returns with all for one. Bloodletting says, lose health, gain energy. Uh, and now I think the deck is nearly perfect. Nearly complete in a traditional sense. You get to lose a strike, defend, or a combust. What an amazing falling event. Remember that one time we had to lose like three upgraded rare cards? This is whatever the opposite of that is. Yeah, can I lose all three? <laughs> I'll lose the strike. The other two can be destroyed by second wind. So we want to lose the strike. Speaking of losing strike, good work.
This could be another way to play Meteor, but I don't think it's that important. It's Thorn's damage first, then healing from Reaper, as you just saw there. You take the damage, and then you can heal it back immediately against uh, Spikers. Although, note the Spiker damage can kill you, so careful about that. Very good. Decent. Another Panacea? Tempting, actually. Wait, is that three Dramatic Entrance? No, it's just two. Okay. King ahead is fine. This is better than skip, right? I think so. Actually, a second panacea with the panic button is really cool. Lose almost 500 effective gold for the red mask is not going to happen. No way, no how. Hero. So I think this is Crescendo, all for one, Armaments, Flex, Flex, Offering, Go for the Eyes deals 81 damage, Pummel deals um, 350 damage, so I can go Bloodletting, Reaper, Pummel, it's a lot of damage. Aggregate plus. Gain an energy for every three cards in the draw pile. I will take that. I recall. This deck is fun. Chance for Mind Bloom has passed. It has, but we still want the elites. Transient. Hmm. Bad hand for Transient. We go Arma, Bloodletting, Meteor Strike, refunding four energy, getting a Plasma Orb. Hello. Hard draw, hello. My stuff. There's Dark Embrace. Okay, cool. Boom. 300 damage. Can return Battle Trance with the All for One. Flex, flex. We have 32 strength. Flex again, we have 36 strength. Pummel does 76 damage four times. Five times. 
Boom. Dead transient. Crush joints for another Vulnsaurus. Yeah. Lantern meat on the bone. That's kind of a fun combo. I doubt the meat on the bone will ever activate, though. Is it blizzard time? Not sure about that. 40 card deck versus Reptomancer. Easier said than done. Next turn could be weird. Good luck to us. This is a good sign. Good. I like it. I'm gonna play Combust. We're actually already full blocking. Let's just Combust, uh, strike you. There's the flex. Aggregate is huge energy. I think I can crescendo, but I'm not sure about it. <laughs> Spooky. Think I can. I'm only going to draw three more cards, actually. Maybe not. Uh, let's play Limit Break first, I guess. Okay, that helps a lot. All right, I'm going to do it. Yeah, this looks good. Preserved Insect. Elites have less health. Capacitor. How about a Heavy Blade Plus? This card will slap. I keep taking cards, apparently. We've had Frost Focus. Blurp. Nice try, nerd. They have 14 energy. What do you have? That's right, nothing. Freaking dead, that's what. So here's Inner Peace as a way to exit Wrath if we really wanted it. I'm not sure that we do. I don't think that we do. Once we enter Wrath, the fight should be ending pretty much immediately. Apotheosis. Upgrade the entire deck. Just the whole thing at once. Actually sounds pretty good. I like another True Grit. White Beast Statue seems late. Chemical X, no good. We have Apotheosis at home. I'm gonna go Apo True Grit. This one, uh, one armament won't cut it. Weak pot could be nice for hard. Use armaments to upgrade apotheosis? That's what it's for. I knew it had to have a purpose. Thank you. 
means this is a good time to enter Wrath. It's not. Now it is. Bonk. Fairy in a bottle. If we would die, heal to 30% health instead. And I'll take another Intimidate, because I don't think our Weaken is quite thorough enough here. Hoping we can find another Dark Embrace or something. Dupe Pot. Okay, cool. For not hurting me. He's decided to hurt me. Well, guess what? I've decided to kill you. How about that? What do you think of that? Bonk. Get Meteor Struck. Give me that mummy hand. Whenever we play a power, a random card will become zero cost. I have exactly one power. I could take a second power in Caltrops Plus. You know, I don't hate that, actually. I think that's not helpful. We got plenty of damage. Powers that block, footwork, wraith form, oh, combust, whatever. Combust doesn't count. Combust is an attack card. Probably. The Awakened One will tell me what's an attack card and what's not. For them. Are gonna need to play the Dark Embrace, that's for sure. Well, okay. Not loving this draw order so far, but I'm willing to hold on here. A bit better. Just kill you. Go to eight strength right now. Do so much better. If I don't play limit break. those two grits. Lose the crescendo in this fight. Although I already lost limit break. That's still fine, I guess. Whatever.
I'm card apotheosis. It's all good. It's all good. Funded even more energy. strike plus flex GG one boss down one to go with the next one being Donu Dedeka hopefully this time with maybe not bottom card apotheosis but we'll see a really good opening hand, actually. Let me limit break now. Limit break, hello? Are you there? Let's just do this. So I have no traditional block this turn. I'm hoping we can debuff Decca here. Theosis. Panacea, limit break. Crescendo. Heavy blade. Perfected strike. Alright, good uh good turn. Good turn. Donu appears to have disappeared. Taking all of that health back, thank you. Much obliged. GG. Okay, we're at full health as we go into Act 4. To thump, to thump, to thump. A deep pulsing dread can be felt throughout the room is this. The heart of the spire, the source of this double damage. You ready your blade dealing 2348. Have I been here before? I remember playing Slice and Dice. We were talking about that a little bit at the start of the stream. I do, in fact, remember that game, and I quite liked it. Was a good game. So I've been missing the upgrade on the Panacea, the Bloodletting. Great Bloodletting. Burner? Second limit break. Oh my. Second limit break. Strange Spoon could make cards potentially not exhaust. Doesn't sound that helpful, actually. Just gonna burner remove strike. 
sounds very good to me. Still 42 cards. That's arguably way too many. Arguably entirely too many. Next turn could be really tough for us. I might not be able to prevent enormous damage, and indeed I can't. I um, might actually die next turn, in fact. It's the sad truth here. Although I have fairy, so it's hard for that to happen. Not my focus. Oh boy, that's bad. So I can play the whole hand, but it doesn't do much for me. Unless maybe if I double flex. Hold on. Actually, I think this does do something for me. Double Apo. If I double flex, we go to 8 strength. This will deal 54 damage. Reaper will deal 12 to each of them, so that won't full heal me. That's bad. This would deal 50. Yeah, we can kill the shield pretty easily, actually. Trying to save Reaper sounds tough, especially with Burner. Thirteen each, you're right, slightly more. We kill Shield with just a single flex. We just have Twin Strike, Reaper, Pummel, Heavy Blade? I doubt it. Let me double check, though. Heavy Blade will deal an additional 20 damage, so it's 34. This does 6 times 5, 30. This does 9 damage. Twin Strike will deal 7 plus 4, 11 twice, 22. That's 95. Yes, that is a kill, actually. So yeah, we can keep our dupe pot. Although that would mean Reaper is even less healing. We, we do need to play the Reaper to get a kill in that case. Hmm. Dupe Pot could be very strong, though. help for us. Five divided by two. Forty two. We'll go to forty one if I don't play defend here. If I do play defend we go to forty three. So actually this is perfect meat setup. Good enough. Or I could play the Bloodletting. Don't I have a kill? Yes, but we can do better than a kill here. Uh, although we do want to kill it this turn, actually, because we have Incense on four. Actually, no, we want to kill it right now. Yeah, with Incense on four, we want to kill it right now. Zero cost Meteor Strike. Wait, were they lying to me? No, we're good, we're good. 
Okay, I'm happy enough with this. We have Incense on four. We have Akabeka. We got Fairy Still. We got Duke Pot. I like it. Stack is not terrible either, actually. Well, it kind of is. How can you play Meteor Strike, they said. How can you do it? How will we ever play the Meteor Strike? Mr. Zorag with the 11 months. You're Pimento Airily a YouTube watcher now, but keeping the subscription going. I think you're nuts. Early all for one. Interesting. Get some damage in here. Mm. Huh. It's fine. Big hit, big hit. Multi hit. That's not good. That's gonna hurt. But you know what, Twitch chat? So are we. I'm going to go flex. Intimidate. Go for the eyes. All for one. Flex. Duplication potion. Double limit break. Go to 1632 strength. Destroy the heart. And block with Oracalcum, I guess. Who needs block? That's right. Who needs block? Blocking. Not required. Not even possible, in fact. Who cares if it's required? Very save me. Very good. Uh, and now I guess I just Reaper for 42 health. That sounds fine. Dark Embrace, I'd like to see you now in my office, along with Apotheosis. Where the heck are you guys? You're late. You are all late. Yeah, there's Apotheosis. I'll just do Panacea, Paninic Button... Heavy Blade deals 154 damage. Do. Uh, we can kill the heart next turn. Maybe. But we also don't have to. Dark Embrace was the bottom card. Now that's rude. Although I do like this draw order, actually. Get Aggregate, Dark Embrace. Probably just Second Wind here. Delete literally the entire hand. Draw an entire new hand. It's not a very good hand, though. Oh, yes, it is. Bonk. GG. If you enjoyed that video, watch this one next. And don't forget to check out Baylor Lord Plays for variety content. Click the blue Baylor icon to subscribe.